Join us now, Brian Karama, the CEO of 702 Communications. Brian, welcome to Point of View. As you know, as well as anybody, because it looks like you're at home right now, got a lot of people working from home, and it's kind of this new normal. Since you're our tech man, what can people be doing as they're working at home? Maybe they have some new gadgets or software or whatever to be a little bit more productive and efficient. Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting because obviously all of us, or most of us anyway, have spent a day or two working from home, but never as much time as, as we're spending now. And so to, you know, for 702, it's been interesting to have just absolutely everybody work working from home now. I've got a couple people in in the office uh, on rotation, but for, for the most part, we're all at home. And so um, it, it does take some adjustment and it does, it, it has been kind of the catalyst to, to some of us uh, adopting some of the technology that, that we've had in place for a while. Um, but to really, re really use it and really see the full potential of, of some of the, the tools that are out there. And so what are the same things that you would suggest? I mean, for the person that right now, right now at home that's going, hey, you know what, now I'm at home, I've never really done this before, but boy, I'd like to have yeah. you some more time with the kiddos or whatever. What are some ideas or suggestions you have to make them more productive and efficient? Yeah, you bet. I mean, so obviously you and I are talking to each other. We're, we're using good old Skype, um, Microsoft's Skype platform. Uh, has been around for a long time and it's it's tried and true and it's you know it, it works pretty well um, this morning I was on a, a, a conference call using the slack platform uh, we had used that internally at 702 mostly just for uh, real-time messaging but you can do uh, screen sharing and uh, also have multi-point video uh, conference calls with that um, yesterday I held my first my board of directors met virtually for the first time and we used zoom for that, um, and so there, there are a lot of apps out there that if you're not using them now, they exist. They're they're a hardened platform, and, and they really do work really well. It's just a matter of you know figuring out how you can set up your space at home. You know, like right now, I'm I'm talking to you on my laptop. I've got my Echo Buds in um, as as my speakers so that I'm solely focused on you, Chris, on this on this interview. But um, it, just the other day too, you know, I was sitting in my home office here and I had my Apple HomePod. And so I wanted to make a phone call. And so I made a phone call through my HomePod. Um, and so some of the things that you, you take for granted around the house um, do have uh, a function here in, in, in today's work from home, new normal uh, uh, environment. Brian, I got about a minute left. And one of the things that we've really been focused on right now, because you know, so many small businesses are having some challenges with this COVID-19 situation. So as a community, what can we be doing to support 702 Communications? You know, 702 is really here to support the community as, as much as uh, we need you to support us at this point. Uh, you know, there, there are a lot of, uh, you know, Keep America Connected pledges out there to, you know, keep people uh, uh, connected if they can't pay their bills. Uh, 702, you know, would still, of course, love for you to be able to pay your bill. But if, if you can't, we're going to work with you on that. Just contact us. Um, but we've reached out to the schools to provide uh, some internet for students. And we've reached out to some of our customers uh, that have higher bandwidth needs now and are providing upgrades. Um, so just really just, you know, keep us in mind. Uh, we can help you win this work from home. Uh, but uh, we're here for you in this crisis. Higher bandwidth. I think that's something that a lot of people are thinking about right now. So what's a website if people want to find out more information about you? 702com.com. 702com.com. Brian Cromit, the CEO of 702 Communications. Thanks for your time, sir. Thanks for having me, Chris. All right, stick around when we come back. Our good friend Steve Halstrom from AM 1100 The Flag is going to join us. He's got his nightly review show coming up tonight, of course tons to talk about so we'll talk about those things and much more coming up right after this please share your point of view with us email us text us leave us a voicemail we'll be right back